We kick off Mellow TV Sports with football as a contrary to a message circulated on social media. Clubs in the Jamaica Premier League will receive prize money for the recently concluded 2021 season. A message circulated on WhatsApp said the league was heavily indebted with clubs owing 29 million Jamaican dollars to proven investments, the firm of Chairman Christopher Williams. While admitting that the debt is indeed owed to proven, Williams says his company provided the monies up front for the running of the league pending payments from sponsors. That, he said, will be paid in November. He also rubbished claims that the league lost $53 million, indicating that it was only to the tune of $8 million. Williams also pointed out that $43 million was paid out to clubs. The league also took a hit with one sponsor renegating on a commitment of $88 million. Cavalier won the title for the first time in 40 years by beating Waterhouse in the final. Nuno Espirito Santo has been sacked by Tottenham less than five months after being appointed as head coach. Former Chelsea boss Antonio Conte, who Spurs targeted before appointing Nuno in the summer, will fly into London for talks with the North London club today. Talks between Tottenham and the Italian, who has been out of work since leaving Inter Milan in the summer, are already well advanced, with negotiations understood to be in their final stages. Spurs have lost five of their past seven league matches, including Saturday's 3-0 defeat by Manchester United. They are eighth in the Premier League and ten points behind leaders Chelsea. The Portuguese was named Spurs manager on a two-year contract in June after four years at Wolves. Spurs started the season strongly after winning their first three league games. Nuno was named Premier League Play Manager of the Month for August. However, the results started to suffer. Despite wins over Aston Villa and Newcastle in October, there were defeats against Chelsea, Arsenal, West Ham and Crystal Palace, as well as a Europa League Conference League loss to Dutch side Vitesse Arnhem. We bowl over to cricket news now as Shakib Al Hassan has been ruled out of Bangladesh's remaining matches in the T20 World Cup because of a hamstring injury. Shakib has not recovered sufficiently from the injury he picked up in his left leg during the game against the West Indies on Friday and after a 48-hour observation period, the team medical staff decided to rule him out. Bangladesh's star all-rounder pulled up when chasing a ball in the fifth over of the match. He went off the field briefly at the time, but returned to complete his four overs, even though he hobbled around and was spotted clutching the back of his left leg on occasion. Shakib later opened the innings for the first time in international cricket in a bid to use his physical limitations during the power play, but visibly limped while taking singles before being dismissed for nine runs. Bangladesh, after getting through the first round of competition, have struggled, losing their three games so far, with qualifying for the knockout stages looking improbable. Their next match is against South Africa tomorrow, and their last Super 12 game is against Australia on November 4. They are scheduled to play three T20s and two tests against Pakistan shortly after the World Cup. We go to basketball news now as Kevin Durant scored 23 points before being ejected for a flagrant foul late in the third quarter as the hosts Brooklyn Nets comfortably defeated the Detroit Pistons 117-91 in NBA action last night. Durant was thrown out of the game with 3 minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter after his right forearm and elbow hit Kelly O'Linick's face during an off-ball tussle just outside the paint. He had shot 10 of 13 from the field before getting tossed. James Harden produced his 59th career triple-double with 18 points, 12 assists, and 10 rebounds in only three quarters as the Nets led by as many as 30. It was also Harden's 13th triple-double during his short time with the Nets. Elsewhere, a Carmelo Anthony-inspired Los Angeles Lakers cruised the twin 95-85 win over the Houston Rockets. 
Anthony Top scored with 23 points, including five three-pointers, while Russell Westbrook added 20 points. Donovan Mitchell scored 28 points as he led the Utah Jazz to a 107-95 victory against the reigning champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 25 points for the Bucks, who were without Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez, and they also slumped to a fourth defeat in seven games this season. Luka Doncic capped a 23-point display with a clutch three-pointer as the Dallas Mavericks defeated the Sacramento Kings 105-99. On to tennis news now, Novak Djokovic remains in doubt for the Australian Open, saying he's awaiting a final announcement on travel and entry requirements before committing to another title defence at Melbourne Park. Australia Prime Minister Scott Morrison last week said unvaccinated players would be free to contest the Open if they completed two weeks in quarantine. Victoria Prime Dane Andrews, however, slammed that door shut, insisting, just like unvaccinated fans, that unjabbed players would not be allowed into Melbourne Park. Djokovic, who tested positive for COVID-19 last year, has repeatedly declined to reveal his vaccination status. Victoria has introduced a vaccination mandate for professional athletes as it battles a resurgence of coronavirus cases. Djokovic has non-committal when asked yesterday about the likelihood of contesting the Open. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night. John Morant's lob dunk for Memphis versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mobley, oh, smothered by Jaron. Loose ball picked up by the Grizzlies. Melton, lob, oh, baby! Oh my goodness! I thought Melton had thrown this and no way he could get it. Morant again catches it behind. Watch this. He's behind him. He catches it, partner. Throws it down. Full extension by Morant. Timeout Cavaliers. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. I'm Christopher Scott. Remember, stay safe and pleasant viewing.